Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Tai Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we were going to be working on a solid granny square and I'm also going to show you how to sew your granny squares together without there being a seam. So, as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. So I have a forest green category four yarn here and I have my five millimeter hook to work on this project. So we're going to do a quick um, slip stitch and just do a quick chain up of five. You can use a magic circle if you want. It's completely up to you, but I'd rather just use a simple chain. So go ahead and chain five and you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch that you made of that chain. Once you've done your slip stitch, you're going to go ahead and chain four. And we're going to begin with our first cluster. You want to make sure that you have your tail tucked in, have that extra piece of yarn tucked in and crochet around it as you go along. I'm going to go ahead and make our first cluster of double crochets here and put them right into the center of this yarn here. Let's make our first double crochet. That chain four does not count as a double crochet. This is our second double crochet into that loop there and our final one. Once you make your last double crochet, go ahead and chain two. Now we're going to go ahead and make our next cluster of double crochets. Going around, we'll be making three clusters of, we're going to make four clusters of three double crochets. So this, we're working on here is our second cluster. We're in our second double crochet. This is the third double crochet of that cluster. And we're going to chain two and move on to the next cluster. This will be our third cluster here. Remember, we're making four clusters of three double crochet going all the way around. I'm on the third one now. Once I make this third one, I'm going to chain two and go ahead and make our last cluster into this stitch here. So this is our last three double crochets for our final cluster. And our last double crochet into that hole. And once we've made our final double crochet for that last cluster, we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the third chain from the previous row. I'm just showing you here the four corners that you should have for your granny square. Each corner will have three double crochets, a chain two, and then three double crochet again until you have four of those clusters. Let's go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch from the chain from the previous row. The third stitch. Slip stitch into there. And chain three. So now we're going to go ahead and work on our first cluster and we go into that same hole where we made that slip stitch and go ahead and make two double crochets, chain two, and go ahead and do another two double crochets into that same cluster in that same hole there. This is going to give you your first cluster of that entire of the second row. So now we're going to do one so a double crochet across. Make sure you push your yarn to the side so you can get to that first double crochet of that row. This will be three double crochets going all the way across until we get to that corner. So I'm going to make that first double crochet into that side, that first double crochet from the previous row. This is the second double crochet from the previous row. 
and our final double crochet from the previous row right before that second cluster so now we're going into the second cluster we've already done the first one we have those three double crochets that's our first cluster here with the two double crochets chain two two double crochets then we did three double crochets here now we're going into the next cluster without chaining you're going to go ahead and yarn over and go into that cluster with your first two double crochets chain two and go back into that same cluster with another two double crochets and we're just going to repeat this process going around and around let's push that yarn to the side so we can make our next three double crochets go into that first one if you're seeing you only have two double crochets then you're missing a double crochet go ahead into the next one and into our final double crochet now we're headed into our third cluster first second cluster and now we're into our third cluster so without chaining you're going to go ahead and go right into that cluster with your first double crochet another double crochet chain two and add two more to that same cluster now once again we're going to double crochet across going across again this will be only three double crochets go ahead and slide your yarn go into that first double crochet second double crochet and your final double crochet of that cluster there and let's go into our final cluster of this round do not yarn over go ahead and make your two double crochets in that one cluster the one corner chain two and add another two double crochets to that cluster so now we're almost at the end and we've done our final cluster of that row you still have to push your yarn over to the side because we have three more double crochets to go these are our final three double crochets go ahead and make your first one and this is number two and this is your third double crochet now as you can see we have all of our corners here and we're at that last and final chain there from the previous row we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the third chain and go ahead and that's it this is our second round of our granny squares and we're just going to go into our next round of those granny squares i'm only going to do three rows because this is a quick tutorial for this and i already have one swatch made so we're just on our second swatch and then i'll show you how to bring these two together so now we're going to continue on we're going to go ahead and chain three and go ahead and make a double crochet into the next stitch we're not at our corner just yet we're not at that cluster just yet we have to make two double crochets and then we'll get to our first cluster again so that's our first double crochet our second double crochet and now we're going into our first corner with our four double crochets so remember do not chain go ahead and yarn over go into that first stitch go into your first cluster with your two double crochets chain two and another two double crochets into the same stitch and we just keep making our way around once we do this cluster here we're going to go ahead and go around again so now this time you're going to have seven double crochets that you have to make across because we've actually increased as we're making our two double crochets 
uh, chain to two double crochets, we're actually increasing it and adding more stitches. So now instead of only doing three, we're going to do seven until we get all the way to the other end. So slide your yarn to the side and go into that first double crochet. This is the first one. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And the final stitch is seven. So now we're at that second cluster, at that second corner. Without yarn chaining, go ahead and go in and make your two double crochets. Chain two. And another two in that same cluster. Now we're at the point where we're going to go ahead and make our seven double crochets. Slide your yarn over so you can get to that first double crochet and make your first double crochet. And once again, it's going to be another seven double crochets going across. One double crochet in each stitch from the previous row which will bring it to seven double crochets until we get to the next corner. And we're at the last stitch and I'm headed into that corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue going around until I get back to my uh, beginning point, my first cluster we will continue going we're going to have three rows going all the way around three rounds going all the way around until we get back to the beginning so i'm going to speed up from here and continue on until i get back to the beginning of the row Okay, so we're getting closer to the end and we are at our final cluster. <clears throat> I just want to show you what it looks like so far. So now we have our three clusters and we're heading into our last cluster. So do not chain. Go ahead and go in and make your first two double crochets. Chain two. And make two more double crochets into that cluster. This is our final corner. Now we're going to go ahead and slide our yarn over a little bit so we can get to that first stitch. And we're going to finish it off with these last few double crochets going across. Just one double crochet into each stitch across until you get to that chain from the previous row. This is the last double crochet and we are at the end. So now I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that stitch there into that chain three into the third chain of the row. Go ahead and slip stitch and we're done. So now we're done with our granny square here and we're going to go ahead and bring these two together. Now I'm going to show you how to bring these two together without there being a seam in the middle. I did have a tutorial um, of a granny square hat. Um, with that granny square hat there are seams but with this one I'm going to show you how to do it without the seams. So you want to make sure that your um, your granny squares are facing outward. The wrong side should be facing outward and the correct side should be facing one another like a sandwich. We're going to take and bring these two together. I do have some yarn here hanging out, but it's not a big deal. We can weave that in later on. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the first double crochet of the clusters that we made here. We're going to do these in the back loop of each stitch. So I'm going to take my, my uh, hook here and I'm going to put my hook into the back of the first double crochet. I do have a tutorial to show you how to crochet in the back loop. So now I have my hook in the back loop of this first granny square and I'm going to go ahead and take my loop my hook and put it in the back loop of the second granny square. We're doing these in the back loop. That's going to keep that seam from popping out. The seam will be on the inside as opposed to being on the outside. So I'm just grabbing up my yarn and putting it around my hook. And I'm going to go ahead and make a slip stitch and chain one because we don't want that yarn to come out. So now we're going to go to the next stitch right into the back loop of that stitch on the first panel. Then we go to the second panel and put a put the hook into the stitch back there. Go ahead and make sure you're incorporating all your loose yarn and go ahead and do a slip stitch. I'm sorry I'm off camera. I'm going to make sure I do that on camera again. I'm going to go into the next stitch. This is the next stitch that we're going into. We're going into that back loop only. And then on the other swatch, we go into that next back loop there and go ahead and incorporate the two together with a slip stitch. There's no need for a chain. You don't need to go ahead and chain up. Just continue on into the back of each of those loops for each panel in the back loop of the stitch. So I'm trying to go as slow as I possibly can so that you can see everything. And I'm putting my hook into the back loop of that stitch and just keep making your way all the way across with these slip stitches into the back loop of each of your double crochets. If you need to slow this down even more, you can do that. I would actually recommend that you do that just to slow it down a little bit. And again, if you still get lost, I have another tutorial on my channel showing you how to uh, crochet in the back loop only. So I'm almost at the end of this row here. I'm just carefully slipping into the back loop of each of those stitches and doing a quick slip stitch till we get to the end. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to slip stitch into the one chain in that next cluster. Just this one chain going into that back loop there again in the next panel and doing a slip stitch. And that's pretty much it. Now we have a nice seamless stitch. Everything is together. There's no lump in there. And then um, if you turn it over, you will see that there is a raise in the back. I'm going to turn it over in a moment. I'm just showing you how seamless that is and how they come together nicely. And I'm going to show you the back. This is the back portion, and as you can see, there is a bit of a raise there, but that's the inside. So once you bring all of your granny squares together, you will not see that on the inside. You won't see that raised portion on the outside, only on the inside. So that's the end of our tutorial. I want to thank you for watching and come and join us again. I will be doing a my own version of a kimono. Have a great day.